ったね。うん。How long were you in Kota? Quite a while, wasn't it? Well, I was over my base, but on my body, yeah. Oh, right.、Mm-hmm. Cover our north. So I don't know how long was I in the mother of the Jew for a while. And I come back to cover up. And they closed the bloody mother of the Jew. So I took it from the surprising. The DP from the bloody、uh, Governor、uh, in the media. Religious folk came down and asked me, asked me if I wanted a job. I said, yeah. I told him. And I was talking to Crazy on the phone, so he said, oh, I'll come down and talk. And we both talked there for a while. So, where was he? Was he up Fidiano or something? That's where he lived, yeah. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. So I, don't know where his, I don't know where his bloody face for his mother was there, but.、Yeah. So, you'd known him a long time? No, I only met him in Huntley when I was teaching at、oh, right. Rock and Mama. Right. He was sent to. Huntley West? Yeah, to help control it. Mm. He'd been in the Mobile Reserve for bloody years.、Mm. He'd come back from that. He'd done about one year teaching there. Then he'd gone overseas and、uh, maybe there for a while. Then he'd come back and join the Mobile Reserve here. Good money, he reckoned.、Mm. And what another shoot I do like kids too much. Mm. Mm. With bloody sets on them. Mm. Mm. So you did mobile reserve here at Tauranga Taupo. Where else? Mehi School, down River Rock, Golden Springs. Oh, yeah. On my own. Broke Corkery, Roma took you. Poggy Mira, Glen Afton. Ruwara, Nike, that's about it. So, and you average about a term in each, or? There's a couple of places where it stayed long, but that was because of a bloody slack. One was from a Tokyo. <coughs> they just they were quite happy with me there.、So. Mm, mm. And one was Roe Corker, which this guy lent to my aunt and me. Bloody aristocrat、mm-hmm. type. He was bubbling around, bubbling around. I was down to teach in a portiki for the next term. He's a bloody didn't make arrangements to advertise for another teacher or anything. A new one.、Mm. Yeah, then Tim Warren and those, those bloody little blue penguins would come shooting under that house at Rock Hawkey. Remember how they come out of the bloody street and they're shooting. 
Sterling had a little bloody white bloody, uh, what do you call it, little wee dog. Ooh. Send it under there. I didn't send it, it went under. She's had come out screeching. <laughs> Chihuahua or something. Mm. Chihuahua could probably kill one of them. They had a little bit of payments coming on the house. Mm. Rough road. You've heard of ice cream <coughs> beans? Rough road concrete. I had the bloody. Forget how much it was for motorbikes to be re repossessed from no property. But no bugger to take it on. Tough bloody school, that bastard. Stolen motorbikes, I bet. All these mobsters. The mobsters had a, a bit of a club called uh, Stress Free. No, no, I don't want any kids to explain. Yeah. I don't want to write with them now. So where's Ro, Ro Corkery? Just before Cape Runner, eh? Mm, oh, way down there. Mm. Yeah, Cape Runner, eh? Then you got... You go across to... It's Bay, Big Long Wolf, mm -hmm. and Tiara Roar, which is a long beach with 13 motorways, a bloody big ancient fortress there. Mm -hmm. And the oldest, uh, the oldest food car in New Zealand. And it used to have a, was the last place to have a bloody post office. Mm. And then that, that work was handed over to, to the bloody uh, part of the Port Square or whatever it was. Mm, yeah, yeah. So between Gisborne and the Portuguese, right round that bloody place, there was only one place you could draw any money out of there. Mm. Bloody disgraceful. Mm. When I went, I'd seen this woman over. I used to send this woman over to, to uh, do banking for me, you know, two terrible teachers' aid. Anyhow. Come and blubbering this day. Could I lend this money? Husband was going to beat her up. He was a drugs. He sold bloody drugs. Mm. So I said, yeah, go on. So she took it out of my bank. I never got the bastard back. Mm. Same as you and that Marlon joke, you know. Mm. Well, uh, she was probably worse than him. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's where you used to earn, go across the Ruatoria on Saturday some, for sport sometimes. Netball, you know. Mm. 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 There's a park out of Headmarks there, fluent in Maori. But he was picked it up since he'd been there and was on the on the radio talking. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get us us out of this day, but none of us felt confident there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean you've got a bit of rail but mostly you're Mostly, you just know a hell of a lot of history and myths and legends, here. Yeah? I've forgotten a lot of it. Now. It's sort of understand it by picking the main words, you yeah, know. Yeah. Basically, 
I can't do that now. Maybe now and again I bloody recall a word that I didn't know. Mm. I could do the bloody ritualise me, mm -hmm. but I learned it off by heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Far up there. Yeah. They run it really. Oh, they, that's right. I forgot you went there too, didn't you? Yeah, I was doing the rip and right there. Yeah. Let me tell you, ask me where I'd go to my maritime if I'm there. Mm. I said to them, well, you know, I'm not fluent in country, but no, no, but we are just talking to you and hearing it. Talking about saying, you know, up here, but we are windy, 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 windy. <coughs> There's a bloke that come out here, he's supposed to be going to be become a duke or king or something. I don't know. Some bugger had sold him some land or told him that. He ended up, he ended up dying a pauper, mm. in, uh, in bloody Auckland, mm. as a piano teacher. Mm. What the hell is his name? I don't know. He's not? Sounds vaguely familiar, but... Yeah. The nice thing, some people think, the long he is, uh, when England got his presents from Queen Victoria, and sold them, the, the legend is, sold them for bloody, mm, it's common now, sold them for bloody mustard in mm. New South Wales. Mm. Huh? Well, uh, yeah. he's had 50 or 500 mustard. He's a lot. The, the price you got for the bloody things Prince Victoria sold him. One board up to might have been a thousand. Mm. Or so they think he might have got together with this bloody watch, did you know? No, oh, right. Yeah. And said uh sell you this bloody land. We got one of his mates to you that went over with him. Mm. We'll sell you this land, you can see yourself of it. It's a local king. Mm -hmm. And uh, he give us some money and buy it for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where is he, bloody? Jesus, I'm always there now. The theory. The theory, oh, yeah. Baron of the theory. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Well, the theory is a big order. Wendy, the theory. No bugger like that, Mariah could speak Mariah. Hmm? Not probably. Hmm. Which one right was that? I don't know. Hmm? It's out towards further out from Rama Riri, out, out, long way, from a pie out the hot. Yeah. I never actually went out there. There were some righteous people around here, you know. Oh, yeah. Mm. 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 So we're a you. So you a training card or university, buddy. Teaching a Maori, mm. Maori, three units on that. Mm. Much in the road down the coast. Mm. I relieved a few days out of bloody 
Kwani wote ji. Tawi bila tena. Oh yeah yeah. And now it is ready. Tawi bila sora na chama do. Na tawi na rewe ji. And I went out to the entrance way for smoke and there was a uh, Japanese Joe there. Mm -hmm. Tell me, sir, why do Maoris try to terrify the guests? <laughs> <laughs> I remember you telling me that. So that guy is... Yeah. You said you were leaving it on a YTT. Mm, yeah, three days. Really? I found this game. Girls, I was impressed with the tone of the place. Mm. Girls and boys out there playing this game with a ball. I don't know what the hell it was. I've forgotten it, but I, it's the only place I've ever seen it. Mm. Mm. And uh, when I came in, one guy said, Oh, we're going to be learning in Park Out today. The teacher brought me in and said, Yeah, that won't hurt you. And so I got in and told him a couple of bloody legends. Mm. I'd shut them up. Mm -hmm. They were all right, they were good kids. Yeah. They had a polite thing about them. Yeah. Mm. 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 And the teacher I met there was up from Rangatukia. She's scarpered on her husband. Mm -hmm. Woman called May May. And there's another bloke here who I talked to. There's something wrong with his son. He's leaving. Leaving teacher. Anyhow, I've got a job at Westbridge. And Toby Gillies was talking about his mate at. Uh, We've done these paintings for his calendars and that, bloody mm. good. Mm. And, uh, and he came over and Toby introduced me. So I, I, he said, I met you before, you know. <coughs> he said, you were, you were leaving me. And I said, that's right. And you were leaving because something wrong with your son. So now it's always good. So you're doing it. It's a small world. You know who Toby did his sister was? Mm -hmm. Woman who lived the back of me had a bit of marijuana. No, yeah, really? I'd been a teacher's eyes here before I came. Mm -hmm. I was a bad little mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Poodle come up. Hmm? <coughs> he was some colonel or something in the bloody army. Hmm? He had a... He had a... Very... Topside intermediate in the South Auckland. Hmm? Hmm? And he said he left because of... Too many meetings. <laughs> but I heard he punched one of his staff in the nose. <laughs> Which he sort of let slip to under. Mm. 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 We wouldn't go to staff meetings after a while at our place. Wouldn't we? Too bloody boring. Mm. Well, what's that got to do with it? It's your duty as principal and DP to make this thing bearable. It's too bloody boring. <laughs> yeah. I 
113 ways to kill a man. Right. I'm only 103, I don't know. Mm. Mm. We've talked about parachuting into some place, sitting there, keeping still in the bloody rushes or whatever they were, for five or ten minutes. Gradually, these other SAS boats mm -hmm. were camouflaged, came over the woods in there. It was on a bloody. It was on a bloody. Uh, war roof. When they took it from. to Papa, they got killed. Oh, yeah. Remember those two rugby players? Yeah, 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 yeah. Gas warnings, right? Yeah, that's right. Jesus, you got a man. Pretty right. good. One of them got killed in the hallway. And bloody, uh... What's his name was there? Toby Gilly. Mm -hmm. Toby Dunn reckons he said that they were in the SAS was in bloody that airport, did he? I don't know. I can't remember. He did. Mm. In TB. Mm. 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 Jesus. Yeah. He reckons how many countries did he say then? Fourteen or something like that. Mm. Maybe more. Places that you'd never you'd never know have been to and are not allowed to say. Mm -hmm. And if you go there, you've got to sign the sign that your parents won't he told me you were killed. Yeah, really? Hmm. Mm. I'm glad I that up, apparently. Did you? Hmm. You mm. see that murderous part of that lady? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see you. Interesting to see you. Interesting to see you. 